Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the unexpected kernel mode trap error in Windows 10. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. An unexpected kernel mode trap is a problem that appears in the blue screen of death and it's mainly caused by a bad or outdated driver. Usually, this problem can be solved by updating the drivers with specialized tools. But, as a last resort, you can perform certain operations in command prompt by following my advices in this video. The first solution would be running the BSOD troubleshooter. Open the Settings app, then go to the Update and Security section. Select Troubleshoot from the menu to the left. Then select blue screen from the right pane and click on the Run the Troubleshooter. Then you just have to follow the on-screen instructions to complete the troubleshooter. Another solution would be removing the problematic driver. So what you have to do is going into the Advanced Startup of Windows. Go to the Start menu, then click the Restart button while holding the Shift button on your keyboard. Then you will be directed to the Advanced Startup. In the Advanced Startup, please select Troubleshoot. Then go to the Advanced Options and choose Startup Settings. Then you should see an option to enter in the Safe Mode. While in Safe Mode, you have to go to the Device Manager, then locate the problematic driver, right-click, and choose Uninstall. This issue can be caused by all sorts of drivers, but some users claim that uninstalling your Bluetooth, Wireless and Intel RST solved the problem. Running an SFC scan can also be of help in solving this issue. What you have to do is click the Start button in the lower left corner, then write Command Prompt. Then right-click the Command Prompt and run as administrator. Enter the following line, SFC slash scan now, then press enter. You have to wait until the process is done because it may take a while and if the solution is found, it will automatically be applied. Now close your command prompt and restart your PC. Installing the latest updates might also help you solve this problem. Open the settings app and navigate to the update and security section. Now click on Check for Updates button. Windows will now check for available updates. If any updates are available, Windows will download them in the background and install them. So if you're getting this error on your PC, you might be able to fix it just by installing the latest updates. So be sure to try that. And the last solution is checking your RAM. Faulty RAM is a common cause for blue screen errors. The simplest way to do that is to remove all but one module from your PC and check if the issue reappears. Now you need to repeat this until you test all modules. However, if you want to perform a detailed scan, you'll need to use a tool such as Memtest 86 Plus to test your RAM. Keep in mind that you need to test each module individually. This can last up to an hour or so for each module. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.